<laughs> okay, I'm going to talk about karma uh, in this video. And um, if, uh, let's say, if you feel that the world has been very, very difficult, and um, this might, don't listen to this video because this will probably annoy you and make you very angry at me. Okay. <laughs> But if you did watch the video, please don't send me any messages because I said don't watch it, you know. Uh, okay, so, all right. So, karma and how I relate to karma. These are just my views. I'm not pretending to be God. So, um, I believe in karma, which is what Buddha said, or I believe in what the Bible says, as you sow, so shall you reap. I believe these are general spiritual laws. I also have, you know, I go to 12 Steps. In 12 Steps, if you're familiar with that, they say nothing in God's world can happen by accident. There are no accidents. So everything is absolutely perfect, which arises and happens. So in my life, I believe in every, every second, everything that's happening to me is absolutely perfect. You know, and it's supposed to happen to me. And that nothing can happen to me that is not supposed to happen. And that, if you like, on a certain level, uh, I'm not going to talk too esoteric, but everything is, as I have sown, so am I now reaping. The thoughts that I've cultivated, the actions that I've had. Now, here's the thing. Um, so, I think most people would agree with, as one sows, so sh does one reap. Now, but, but how is the unexplainable explainable? Well, I, you know, my own personal view is I believe in past lives. Otherwise, this lifetime is unexplainable. You know, so... How is it that, let's say, some, you know, someone's born as the prince in Buckingham Palace, and another person is born in the middle of Africa uh, in poverty? You know, uh, you know so for me, there, there is... Um, so something like karma would then, um, would then be the thing, see? So in the last lifetime, let's say in the last lifetime, I spent my whole lifetime giving money to the poor. And, uh, and then say I'm reincarnated and I'm, I'm just born with a lot of wealth around me. Or let's say in my last lifetime, I was robbing everyone of their money. And then I'm born in a situation of poverty in this lifetime. So... Like, for example, um, um, you know, in this lifetime, um, you know, I was quite ruthless when I used to work in the stock market. And now I'm dealing with, I sometimes, you know, this, here's the thing, you know, here's, a, here's a funny one. This is, a, I think this is a funny karmic one, a small one. I used to, I used to work in one, I was working in one stockbroker in, in Vienna. And they taught us these really, really pushy sales tactics, you know. And we'd be targeting, like, managing directors in Saudi Arabia and all, all, all these places. And, you know, they teach us how to be really, really pushy and aggressive with uh, these things. And I was really pushy and aggressive with these people. Anyway, it so happened that I left that profession. And I gave my number... There's a magazine here in London called the Investors Chronicle. And I gave my number just to get, like, investment, their investment stuff. And they, they put me on the mailing list for every single stockbroker. In, in, you know, my list, my number, my telephone number was put up for sale for anybody who needed a mug for, for salespeople to try and sell stocks to. So I was endlessly getting these phone calls with these pushy, like... I'm calling from America, I'm calling from Austria, I'm calling from London. Like, where did you get my phone number from? It was just like you weren't global. So I get, I get the, and you couldn't get them off the phone. And, you know, so that was like, that was in this, and I could see what was happening. It's like, I was like a pain in the neck to all these people. And I was like, I got it back. So, so that for me uh, explains karma. And, you know, whatever happens to me in my life, I mean, I, I call it, the, it was given to me by a spiritual teacher. I call it the anti-karma prayer. It's like, um, and uh, the anti-karma prayer is like, um, 
you know, let's say, um, let's say someone stole, if, if someone stole something from me, I would pray, God, I pray for forgiveness for the one in me who's stolen from others. You know, because I'm praying for forgiveness. This thing has happened to me because I've done it to others. So I pray for forgiveness for the one in me who's done that to others. Or I pray for forgiveness for the one in me that, uh, let's say someone gossips about me uh, and ruins my reputation. So I pray for forgiveness for the one in me who's gossiped about others and ruined their reputations. You see, so I take ownership for the things that are coming at me which I think are unfair and I pray for forgiveness for the one in me who's inflicted those on others mm. to, to, to release it. Mm. 